my girlfriend, she's a fitness freak. Like, she'll go to the gym and just work on stuff that's not even a muscle, right? She'll be in there like, I'm working on my thigh gap today. Like, why do your thighs need to be separated? Are they not getting along? What's on the go? She's like, thigh gaps are hot. I'm like, who said that ever? I've never had a buddy of mine checking out a girl across the bar, just eyeing her up, just, oh my God. Look at all that space. <laughs> Legs on her like half a chair. <laughs> Bet she could sit on a paddleboard and not even spread her legs. Is that the woman of my dreams or a wheelbarrow? Either way, I'd fill her with wood. But... but there's some people that are really insecure about not having a thigh gap nowadays, that, to the point where they even came out with a new Barbie doll that no longer has one, because parents complained. Um, excuse me. Why do all my children's Barbies have thigh gaps, hmm? And the company Barbie couldn't just stick up for itself, you know? Just like, pfft, I don't know, because that's just how they look. Why do all Cabbage Patch kids look like they got their face kicked in? Because that's just how they look. <laughs> for those who haven't seen a Cabbage Patch doll, just imagine an adorable baby doll chucked in the microwave for eight minutes. That's what a Cabbage Patch doll is. But parents were worried their kids were gonna grow up and feel too much pressure to look like their Barbie dolls. Like, if my future youngsters feel too much pressure to look like their Barbies, too bad. Did you not ask for that for Christmas? It's not my fault if you feel shame, you know what I mean? All my action figures had thigh gaps, but not once was I jealous of my Batman's chisel mangina. Not once, not once. Like, if my future daughter comes up to me and goes, Daddy, why don't I walk like Bobby? I'd be like, listen, sweetheart, because you get your father's cowlick and your mother's mustache. Go to bed! <laughs>